We begin with outrage, grief, and new violence between Palestinians and Israeli security forces. More than 60 people were hurt in fighting in parts of Jerusalem after funeral of a Palestinian teen who was found murdered this week. Palestinians believe the boy was killed by Israeli extremists in a suspected revenge attack after three Israeli teens were abducted and killed. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg is live for us in Tel Aviv. Uh, Roy, so much frustration, rage and anger from both sides. Uh, do you get the sense the situation is going to get worse before it gets better? Alafia, on Friday we heard chants of intifada, intifada coming from some of these protests in Jerusalem. You'll recall that we've had the intifada, the first intifada and the second intifada. That means uprising in uh, the local colloquial Arabic. Uh, and, uh, and that is a sign that uh, some of this frustration isn't going away. Uh, we heard condemnation of the killing of the uh, Palestinian teenager Mohammed Abu Qadir coming from uh, the highest of ranks here, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. We also heard uh, a condemnation, of course, coming from Palestinian Authority figures. But it's unclear what type of resolution uh, the uh, Arab population of East Jerusalem wants. And I say of East Jerusalem because that is an important distinction. Uh, in the West Bank, there are areas of that uh, territory that Israel patrols frequently, but uh, and that is used with uh, Israeli troops. But in East Jerusalem, which was annexed uh, uh, illegally, most countries say, by Israel. Uh, that area is controlled by Israeli police, and the confrontations there are with Israeli police. Of course, if they escalate, they can spill quite easily into Jewish neighborhoods of Israel, even beyond Jerusalem. And that's a, a very unique problem that uh, Israel is now facing. Roy, well, have there been any arrests in the killing of the three Israeli teens or and the Palestinian boy, the 16-year-old boy who was found brutally murdered? So far, no arrests. Regarding the three uh, Jewish teens, uh, Israel says it believes it knows who the two uh, Hamas operatives that is accused them, as it accuses them of being. Uh, it believes it knows who they are, that the hunt continues uh, for them. Israel uh, demolished the homes of three of their families. That is a position, that is a, a response tactic that stopped nearly a decade ago, decade ago that Israel recently reintroduced. Regarding uh, the, the slain uh, uh, Palestinian teen, uh, the 16-year-old uh, uh, Mohammed Abu Qadir, uh, there's not a lot of information that so far has been released. A lot of what we're hearing is rumors, and part of that is because uh, Israel has put out a gag order on a lot of those details. Uh, this is a very sensitive situation. The family received the body only on Friday afternoon. He was buried right away. And, you know, th there, there's a saying, um, who, needs, uh, uh, tr who needs facts? When you have the truth, a lot of people have already reached their own conclusion about what happened, and that is a problem here. And we're not just hearing accusations from the Palestinian side uh, that he was killed by Jewish extremists, uh, uh, unproven uh, accusations there so far unsubstantiated. Uh, we're also hearing rumors from the Israeli side uh, floating around on social media and other Israeli media outlets that uh, he was actually killed by uh, Palestinians, perhaps even a member of his own extended family. Again, those are rumors. It's unclear if anybody will actually Actually wait around to hear what the facts are. And Israel has beefed up security along its border with Gaza. Uh, is Israel getting for an all-out offensive here? Well, in the last few hours, Israel has given Egypt, uh, which is a mediating country, obviously south of Gaza, 24 hours to broker a ceasefire. Israel says that its troops along the border with Gaza are there to protect the local Israeli population. But there is a lot of pressure within the Netanyahu government from the right-wing parts of his cabinet to go into Gaza full force, either from the ground or from the sky, and to end this conflict once and for all. But we understand from Hamas sources that they have been working with the Egyptians, perhaps to broker a ceasefire. Both sides say they want the other side to stop firing first. All right. Thank you so much, Roy.